Welcome back to Pinoy Balance. It is James, and right now we're gonna talk about player highlight of the week. And player highlight of the week is Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is averaging in the five games, averaging 21.2 points, 7.8 assists, 6.2 rebounds per game. And JJ Redick is kind of helping him like get those assists. And JJ Redick is kind of like on a trade market. Same with Andre Drummond and Kevin Love. So who do you guys think would fit for Toronto Raptors? Mm. I feel like what we're lacking right now for the Raptors is a shot creator. Mm. So I feel like we would have on, if we were to acquire, let's say a Kevin Love or mm. a JJ Redick, that could be able to take it to our advantage. I mean, like, speaking of which with Lonzo Ball with his player highlight, um, I just feel like back when he was with the Lakers, like what we fully said before in our last segment, it was just... Too much yeah. too much noise outside of basketball. Yeah. yeah. And you, you couldn't perform because you're being right. criticized for every move you make. Yeah. You yeah. And like, especially when you're coming with the Lakers, it's they're more of like a now team rather than to invest in a young player and then put them in for like a brighter future. Whereas once they go into another team, that's when they flourish. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the Raptors, I mean, we've been investing, like, let's say, for Van Fleet, you know, um, uh, Terrence Davis Jr., uh, Pascal Siakam as our number one face of, like, the Raptors. I'm just saying, since now that we have that investment with them, are we trying to bring in these kinds of players for the now or for, like, something for, like, instant gratification? Like, let's say the, uh, another championship. Like, they, like, Redick, I mean, not Redick, sorry, Kevin Love has that kind of, like, pedigree as well. So mm -hmm. I'm not... Plus, he has that championship yeah. in his back. Yeah. So he knows what it takes to win a championship as well. But it's also a matter of fit. I think with the needs right now for the Raptors is... And who would they trade anyways? Yeah. With Kevin Love, you would lose someone like Ibaka and a couple yeah. of first-round picks or yeah. a couple or of picks. Or even Drummond. You guys would right. lose one of those guys. Yeah. 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 But in terms of a fit, I, I think Ibaka... Ibaka, Ibaka Kevin Love can do literally what Ibaka does. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when, remember, when playoff starts things slow down. You need somebody that you can grab on the post and kind of get you buckets off a post. And which is Kawhi was like that for us. And we lost that kind of, uh, <clears throat> that kind of, uh, I guess I would call it multiple uh, streams of attacks and getting buckets for us. And with Kawhi gone, you need somebody that can get us buckets, easy buckets, when things slow down during the playoffs and defenses collapses. So somebody like Kevin Love can be that person because right now I don't see anybody that can really create shots for us on the post besides Mark Saul. And we both know, like we all know how inconsistent he can be or sometimes. <laughs> oh, we don't know you're gonna get some, and <laughs> oh he's getting old, right? Yeah. So I think with Kevin Love, the great thing about him is that he's a great passer as well. So he, yeah. he, can, he can be that four, stretch four, and can be a five at times depending on how we play. So he, he has, he's a more of a fit to us. And, and to lose someone like Ibaka would be, but then you get a better shooter, right? And, and somebody that can get his buckets down the line when And less comes. illegal screens, because that's what Ibaka always has. <laughs> that's his problem. And, and his hands. Always been his problem. His hands, he has butterfingers. Yeah. I, I, he's been like that ever since OKC days. Oh, yeah. And then, like, you know, he lost so many assists from Westbrook because he can't catch the ball. And as much as I like him and his cooking show. And his aggression. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, um, Fuzi, I was thinking of like, his aggression oh, yeah. as a rim protector too. I feel like whatever, it's like my Fuzi chef. Chef. <laughs> But I think um, the fact that everyone is injured and all this like backups are playing, they're getting playing time, they're getting points, they're getting assists. These players are kind of like blessings, blessing in disguise and also they could be a trade bait. Mm. They can use these oh, yeah, players sure. to get like once Pascal, Norman, and Mark comes back. I feel like Norman could that. be in talks for, yeah. for being like included in a trade package or anything. So yeah, exactly. And Masai that. is one of the best. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm like kind of like jealous that you guys have Masai because we have freaking Elton Brand and <laughs> he's doing Hey, he was a sixer. He was a sixer. <laughs> yeah, he was he a sixer. He flourished as yeah. a sixer. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So, trust in Masai, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about the fact that, you know, this injury says has kind of helped develop these players the past. I, I, we have enough, I guess, games in, in Arsenal to kind of evaluate the, the development of Terrence, um, Terrence Davis, Chris Boucher, um, players like Fanny Van Fleet. Like what, how, what have you guys noticed so far in terms of the consistency or maybe the, the, the needs that they, they're going to need come playoff time? Because now we're getting this evaluation from what? Well, yeah. Well, now they're gonna they're now gonna feel that pressure, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to like uh, postseason, right? So, mm -hmm. um, this is what they should be expecting. I mean, 
uh, from the last game that they played against Charlotte and mm -hmm. that whole loss against Portland. Yeah, but even the week. game against Miami when yeah. they just couldn't buy a bucket. Uh, and they yeah. played amazing defense, so they just couldn't buy a bucket. Right. That's why we need those shot creators because, mm -hmm. or unless we can be able to develop a player like, well, not, not really Matt Thomas right now, but mm -hmm. since he is he still injured? He plays, he plays, he's he's playing in the G League. I know he's playing in the G League right, now. G -League right yeah. now, so yeah, I don't know. I um, feel like they have enough shooters. Yeah. Yeah. What they don't need, what they don't have, is somebody that can create off the off the post or yeah. off that pick and pop, right? It, and Ibaka has been the only consistent one that we have, but to get somebody that can have that post move and the pick and pop and the pick. Not just from the mid range, but also to the three point line. That's yeah. where that's where you're gonna get something from Kevin Love, and the passing ability of Kevin Love is gonna be beneficial to him because you're gonna get somebody like, let's say Marc Gasol is not playing well. You can have somebody like Kevin Love who yeah. can basically do what Marc Gasol does, except the defensive end. Times better. I mean, two times better. Do you think so, it might be a two way yeah. package if we were supposed to get Kevin Love? Because I also heard they're putting <laughs> Tristan Thompson in the. That's a very. You know, you know, the, the, the money just won't like work. Yeah. You know, both yeah. players are getting paid way too much. We have yeah, to give yeah. a weight. We have to either give up Norman Powell along. Yeah, the yeah. Game, I feel like Norman Ibaka. Powell might be like put into discussion mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think the Lowry discussion of trade that's probably closed by now. I don't know if anybody's still talking I about. I don't. I don't see that happening. <laughs> Lowry getting traded. No, yeah, no. I, I think I it's proven that to us that you guys need at least like if you guys go to the playoffs, you guys need someone who can like. We need that vet like, the experience. experience. Yes, because Mark Gasol he has experience, but he's getting old, man. Yeah. 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 But the leadership, really like the leadership, leadership is important Lowry. because yeah. as good as Fred Vapley is, it's just, I think Lowry's more of a vocal leader, and really the the team's captain. I right. feel like this is going to be the new phase for like the best, one of the best backcourts in the East too, which is mm -hmm. Fred Van Fleet and Larry. Yeah. Mind you, even though there were so many games older. though that yeah. he's carried us, and he, he pulled <clears throat> you know crazy amount of like he made some difficult shots, he made some clutch shots yeah. the past few games to really lift us. Even off. last game, last game he was so you can tell he's gassed. Yeah, you can yeah. tell he's tired. Like, yeah. but the heart of the Raptors team is crazy because they keep going <laughs> still, yeah. and they but almost lost. Like he's game he one. he's the engine, like the way yeah. he plays and the way he hustles. Uh, he, he's the one that really sets the pace for the Raptors, and you know, even that when I heard the breaking out that oh yeah, Lowry's in the block, I'm like, how could you? Like he's literally right now the, I would say the the greatest Raptor in terms of the years that he's had in his arsenal here. Everyone ripped on and, him for that, and everyone yeah. is still ripping on him for these <laughs> things. Like you make one one small minor mistake, and next you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They remember him for the playoffs that we've been so like you know. Yeah. We were either. <laughs> eliminated um, we were or swept, like, swept by LeBron because yeah. of the fact that he didn't show up along with Rosen but now the fact that he's maybe you need that mm -hmm. maybe you just need to be on your own in order for you to flourish mm -hmm. right? so, or you need to experience that tragic you know yeah. failure in order to become yeah, a champion that's sure. just that should be a story right ended up with hoops Mario Sip. it's Ray John Rondo some random fan <laughs> trolled him and say Chris Paul Chris Paul you're my favorite player so check this video out Oh my gosh, my favorite point guard, Chris Paul, Paul, man. Chris Paul, man. What's up, man? Who? You ain't Chris Paul? Nah, who are you? Oh, you ain't Chris? Oh, you going first?